Well, here I am again, as promised. Um, I, uh, I've had a absolutely horrible week. Um, I, my last video, I mentioned that um, I have this issue with uh, keeping my moped inside because it's been stolen so many times and uh, or parts of it have been taken uh, the battery twice the, the headlights the brake lights the tag the uh, the last time they stripped it really good they took uh, both my baskets and uh, let's see what else all oh, both side panels <laughs> my tag um, but uh, a week ago yesterday, I took the moped out, which I had mentioned the monster. You know, I hate to take the monster out to play um, because, for one thing, I don't take it out that much, and I always have to kickstart it. You know, get a good kick in the ass, and it starts right up. But you know, it's just an issue with um, trying to get it started. Well, anyway, I wasn't on the bike. Uh, I kick-started it and uh, tried to get it up over the curb, and the damn thing just bammed into a concrete wall and jarred me so badly, um, gave me whiplash. I, I felt it instantly in my neck, my shoulder. I have a huge, huge boob bruise. Um, so this whole past week, I've been on the heating pad, and uh you know, I did go to the doctor on um, Monday the 26th, and he said, oh my God, you look so good, you know, you're just doing so great, and I'm going, yeah, mine is this damn whiplash that I have, but uh, yes, I was feeling just wonderful until that happened, so uh, at any rate, um, that that really has taken its toll on this old bod. Um, and then, you know, you know, the internet, two days ago, no internet, no telephone, no Uverse TV. Um, of course, I called them and got some doofus in Germany telling me I needed a new modem and he would send it right out to me. And I refused that. I told him it's all new. It had just been reinstalled in January and I had all new. I uh, had a new modem. I, I didn't need a modem and no, do not send me a modem and, and I want to check and uh, would you please transfer me to the loyalty department because I've been with you guys 25 years. You know, I don't have too many choices here in Key West uh, as far as um, TV. Can't, you know, just the way it is. You know, take what you can get. So, I uh, finally got to the loyalty department and she agreed to give me a discount. She gave me a good discount off my bill. She changed my bill date, which somehow miraculously had changed. And I was getting late charges because I never pay it till the third. Um, so uh, then the next morning when the tech was supposed to show up, which I had talked them into sending, after they told me I would be charged $140, and I'm like, well, you can put it on my bill. I'm not paying it, so, you know, you know, do what you want. But uh, they called me first thing the next morning and said, oh, um, we won't be sending the check out. Um, almost everybody in your area is without service. Um, it seems that um, some construction company got a little crazy and uh, dug up some very important cable underground cable wires and things. Um, oh, I hate to see that tab. But, but anyway, they, they said, we hope to have you up back up and running uh, by the evening, and they did. So that was good. But during that time, that two days, uh, you know, being, being away from any communication, more or less, uh, I did a lot of thinking. I did a lot of cleaning. Uh, I went through old photo albums and scanned old family photos that I had never put into albums. They were just loose in a box. And uh, I, I just, I, I was just thinking so hard. I was thinking about my mini and my family, how everyone's so scattered. I never see them. And um, my closest friends 
through the years, most have died, and my both my ex-husbands have passed away, and here I am, and I'm thinking, well, I must be doing something right, because, um, you know, the main thing, I'm, I'm just so thankful that I had a daughter, I, and I have a daughter that lives here in Key West, and um, she comes to see me on her days off, and, uh, you know, truthfully, she's the love of my life I, I mean I, I don't know what I would do if, if I didn't have my girl um but some really deep deep thoughts and then and then I thought I remember something my younger sister had said once and she said well you know it's not gonna matter it's not gonna make any difference 100 years from now and I thought you know geez really it isn't you know I won't be here um, I won't have anything to worry about. I don't know where I'll be, but I'm sure it'll be someplace nice with dragonflies and oh. hummingbirds. You know, all my life I have collected cups. They're pretty, beautiful, gold trim. But uh, yeah, I've collected cups. I used to collect lighters. I don't do that anymore. Uh, my daughter did that too. Um, uh, I also collect uh, pens. I love pens. All different types of pens. Wherever I go, I always snitch a pen. But anyway, uh, a few other things that you probably don't know about me is um, um, I have some weird things I can do. Let's see. Um, I can do that. Okay, see, that's good. I can do this, 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 this. I can do that. <laughs> I can go. Frog thing, that's right. That is a little thing. <laughs> um, but uh, last night after my shower, I, I, I really like my Epsom soak, so soaks, my Epsom soaks, but um, it's really hard to get in and out of the tub when your body is like not cooperating at all. So, uh I looked in the mirror and I had a very noticeable bruise, a huge bruise on my shoulder up by right here. You know, that's where it really hurt me a lot, the jar when it, when, it, when the bike hit, when the moped hit the wall. Bam, you know, it just really got me in my shoulder and down through my chest area. So I'm looking in the mirror and I have this huge bruise right here on my boob. I thought, geez, to get a bruise there, you know, that had to be a very hard uh, hit with the handlebars. So, uh, and uh, that bam into the wall. Wow, what a jar. But, it could have been worse. I could have been on it. I could have been on the road. So, yeah. So, anyway... My forecast pretty much all week has been, uh, yeah, oh, and so I've been such an emotional, sensitive dragonfly in overdrive. Um, but you know, my cure, Doctor D is like, wow, your blood pressure one twenty one over seventy. Your platelets are coming up. Your skin tone is awesome. No makeup, you know. You know, <laughs> it's just wow. You know, I feel I was. I told him I was feeling so good until that bam. So anyway, um, I have exactly. Three and a half weeks to go, and I'm finished the treatment, 
And then, of course, I get the uh, final blood test and the final clear zone in July, which I hopefully will get a good result. Um, so, it's been a pretty, pretty uh, interesting past few weeks. And uh, I'll be getting back with you. You guys have a great day and stretch that butt. Exercise. Oh, no, I can't. It hurts too bad. <laughs> See you later.